And the late breaking news here at 530. You are looking at the large search operation set up by the FBI at the moment, still underway down in Bardstown in Nelson County. And as we just told you first at the top of the hour on WHS 11 News, the sheriff in Nelson County telling us authorities are searching for the remains of Crystal Rogers on this property. That property has ties to the Houck family. Dozens of FBI investigators are there off rural Whitesides Road in Nelson County. The FBI says they got a tip as part of the Crystal Rogers investigation. Again, her body has never been found as three men sit in jail waiting to go on trial. Well, following this case closely with such accurate insight for us to date is Louisville attorney Nick Mudd of the Mudd Law Group. And Nick is also a former assistant Commonwealth's attorney in the Violent Crimes Unit. So, Nick, in the past you've joined us and you've talked about how important it is to find her remains. Are you surprised that in this stage of the case that they're once again following tips and doing this? Well, I think it goes to the fact how important it is to find the remains. I mean, they're still searching. I know there's a potential trial looming out in the distance. Um, the prosecutors turned over all the discovery, which is the evidence in the case, to the defense lawyers. However, I think that shows just how important uh, having the remains here to tell us what happened, how it happened, uh, and where the body was ultimately disposed of. In the past, we, we didn't know whether they were searching for disposed of records or always looking for remains at the other sites. Now the sheriff's confirming down there that they are absolutely zeroing in, trying to find something tied to Crystal's disappearance. Right, and I think, again, it goes to how important it would be to find the body. Any sort of homicide case, uh, having the body is of utmost importance so that a forensic exam can be done, which kind of lets you piece together the past of what actually happened to this young lady. So here we have a trial that is, you know, who knows whether it's gonna actually gonna go off on time since right. the attorneys have switched in this case, but you could still have this trial in her disappearance without the remains, but what kind of bar is that to try to hit, in your opinion? I think it's difficult. I've tried several homicides from the defense side and the prosecution side. Not having a body uh, is definitely helpful for the defense. Um, certainly, any prosecutor, any sort of homicide case, has to piece together the past for the jury. A, a person starts innocent until proven guilty, and they have to prove what happened, and it becomes a very high bar and very difficult for a prosecutor to prove what actually happened without having those remains. You follow this case so closely and has guided us along. Uh, what, what's your, running through your mind? What, what does this message then today? They're back there in force doing this. Well, this, as, as we say in law, discovery never ends, which means if new, as, new evidence is discovered, uh, the police are going to go investigate it and look into it. Because they don't have a body, because that's so important, um, certainly they're following what tips they get. Now the question I have is, was this pursuant to a search warrant? Uh, and it's the FBI, so did a federal judge sign a warrant so there would be an affidavit? They would have to show probable cause to search this property, or did the property owners who own the property now, did they consent to search? Did they say, hey, go ahead and look around? But the fact remains, the tips must have been important enough for them to go out there and spend all this time and resources to look for the remains. You're a defense attorney. What would you be telling the family in this case? What kind of, is this an encouraging message that they see here happening today? Uh, for the family of Miss Rogers, yeah, yes, uh, certainly. I think you know they've got to keep going. They don't stop in, the, in law enforcement. They're going to keep digging until they find that, uh, literally and figuratively. And certainly, um, you know, we got to see what happens, right? We don't know what they found out there so far. And it may not even come out to the trial. That is also true as well. All right, Nick Mudd. Always thank you for coming yes, in. Thank Appreciate you. it, Nick Mudd of the Mudd Law Group.